so you don't know what you're going to lose next. You just have to wait and see. Oh, when I first met Ronnie, I was 14. It was through an accident that we actually met. I was cycling around Loch Lomond with our brother. He got knocked down. So the gentleman that actually hit my brother brought Ronnie home to tell my mum. Olive actually answered the door and she was brushing her hair at the time. <laughs> well, she was gorgeous. Ronnie is a painter and decorator by trade and he did up my brother's room for him coming home. And so I'd stand and watch him do it. And then he asked me out. And that was it. January, four years passed. He noticed my mental arithmetic was starting to go. And I was always very, very good at mental arithmetic. I couldn't remember words. I have to explain what the word is. And then Ronnie would tell me the word I was looking for. That's why I thought it was time to go and see the doctor. He says, well, we'll take um, a scan. And um, then he told me that I had vascular dementia. Well, I didn't really know what that was at the time. From my understanding is that your brain will die, but not in a specific order. So you don't know what you're going to lose next. You just have to wait and see. An awful lot does go through your mind. Is there a time limit to this? Or will it go on, you know, for quite a long time? Am I going to be feeding her or something soon? Sometimes I wish that I'm going to go first when the time comes, you know, so I wouldn't have to see it. She's always been very good at holding her feelings back, but I've known Olive too long not to realise that it is something that's eating away at her. It's not her doing it, it's, it's the dementia, and that's not her fault. I mean, a lot of people just keep saying, well, there's no way you've got it. And it's, it's not something you can see. It's not, it's not like a cut or, or something like that. So the fact that you've got to explain is difficult because the different types of, of dementia aren't really known that well. Research is so important. I don't think in anything will happen within my future, but they may be able to find something that can even slow it down. And you, you've got to have the money for research to do it. I don't really think about the future. I really don't, because I don't know what the future's going to hold. She just means so much to me. I don't know what I would do if she wasn't here. I, I, that is one question I can't answer. I really don't know.